Hey guys, welcome. I'm Tracy. This is my channel, Tracy from the Mermaid Co. I'm coming to you with a mini Aldi haul. Then just a little talking. Then some time lapse work I've been doing in my kitchen. And at the end, a Home Depot haul. Just a little bit of my day. But I thought I'd start with the Aldi haul since I get more views on that. <laughs> but I had, I still haven't even done my second part of my other Aldi haul. But I want to do this one in real time. So I needed, I um, only spent $35.51 and I needed blue, frozen blueberries, which I didn't have, but I got this, um, this is the 32 ounce bag of Berry Medley, which was $6.09. So that will do. Now have y'all tried this? This is a steak and cheddar burrito with pinto beans, cheddar cheese, brown rice, mozzarella, and yellow corn. Huh, I'm not sure about the corn. 15 grams of protein, $1.99. So I thought I'd try that. That might even be a good part of breakfast. And then I needed some red grapes, or grapes for my, I haven't washed them yet. They're little tiny things, but um, I need to rinse them, but I need this for my, my smoothies. But I found, a whole thing of other grapes that I can use before that. So, I wanted some more fruit to eat, so I got some strawberries, $1.69. So I need to wash those and then eat them up in the next couple days, because this fruit, y'all, is not lasting long. Then I got blueberries, $2.85. And I got one donut. 59 cents. Instead of freezing them, I thought you need a donut, go buy a donut. And you guys, I did. I bought some more brioche, 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 brioche bread. It's $3.89, you guys. It is so good. I have, who knows now what I did with it? I bought a pound of hamburger because I told myself, I was thinking fast food, and I'm like, uh-uh, we gotta break that habit. So I got, and I had hamburger for lunch, so then I'll have a couple more this week. Which, you know, I'm pretty impressed with myself because I love me and my fast food. And like I said, it's something me and my mother used to do when we were out running errands. We'd always eat out, but I wanna break that habit. It's been a long day. It is 7.30 at night. And, um, but I got my kitchen mostly under control, y'all. And I have um, some peppers, zucchini to cut up. And then I have a couple different, um, I'm gonna do roast with it. I have, this is like a chicken feta, and this one is um, Old Bay interesting this one no this one is uh, one's apple chicken smoked chicken sausage and then i have the unexpected cheddar from the joe's so i'm gonna um i was going to what was i gonna do i was gonna cut up everything and put it in the oven but i might have to wait for tomorrow because i still want to do my home depot thing i have a couple plants to plant i was waiting for it to get a little cooler it's 81 um, but tomorrow is a staff meeting, so I have to make food. So I'll be doing that in the morning. So maybe tomorrow night. Um, yeah, I'll cut up those peppers. And I love eating them raw with the hummus. Oh, that reminds me. So, the other thing I decided to try is I got some hummus from the regular grocery store. I wonder what I did with that hamburger. So this is the Mexicali which is delicious dip from jalapeno, ooh. Tomato, onion, bell pepper, spices blended with sour cream, mayonnaise, Monterey Jack, and that weird cheese, New Chala, New, anyway, New Hotel, I don't know. I hope it is not super hot. But y'all, their stuff's good. There's a 
a little heat. I don't know. I'll have to try it again later. It tastes good though. It might be just a tad too much heat. So I'm thinking, bear with me all. So I'm thinking that instead of cooking in the morning, I might bring like this, one of my hummuses, some cut up cheese, some cut peppers, um, yeah, some crackers, and maybe some grapes. What do y'all think? Because I'm not gonna wanna get in the morning and make this TikTok pasta. And I was supposed to work late, but they made me come in early, which is a-okay with me. So I'm gonna think about that. But that might be nice to have. Because sometimes, you know, people want to nibble. They're going to be pizza. And I might go ahead and make that TikTok thing another day for them. So I think that's what I might do and have grapes. What do you all think? Doesn't that sound kind of refreshing and summery? And I'm tired, too. Okay, guys, so that's my Aldi haul. I hope you guys stick around. Next will be me talking. I had, it's interesting because those of you who are new because of Aldi, I hope you stay, but I'm doing this decluttering project of releasing 25 things in 25 days and it's turned into a thousand thing project. And I've completed it, but I'm not in real time. So if today is the 20th or the 21st. I'm gonna go in probably the middle of July. So I've had all kinds of breakthroughs. It's been really interesting. Um, but I hope you can watch them because you know everyone needs to let stuff go, right? Who doesn't? I mean. And we have so much stuff and it's about my emotional attachment. It's about feeling stuck. I'm trying to get through it with support of everyone. And you know, the comments are so magnificent, truly help me. And just wrestling in myself and trying to actually grow myself up, right? You know, um, but all kinds of exciting things happened in the last two that were painful, but I think brought me through to another level, which I can cry, which I kind of predicted. I could hope for, but it was so synchronicity and so serendipitous and meant to be that, wow, you guys, I can't wait for you to see it. And um, yeah, so thank you. And um, hold on, I'll be talking to you in the morning. Hey guys, welcome, I'm Tracy. This is my channel, Tracy from the Mermaid Cove. I'm home today, I had to go to a doctor's appointment. Actually, I have one this afternoon. I'm going to the food bank to drop some stuff off. And um, it is a little bit humid today. I think it might rain. It's very overcast. I don't know the temperature. 76. It's still been super nice. But the really nice weather is over, which was awesome. That happened on the three days people had off, which is rare. <laughs> rare, rare, rare. It's going to be at a weird angle, I think. <coughs> the thing I put my phone on is not cooperative. Do you guys know any of this? Like you can put on to, you know, I have been doing it with my um, GPS just because traffic's been unbelievably erratic and it will reroute me. So I need to be able to see that. But anyway, so I'm going to the food bank. As you can see behind me, a bunch of stuff. I have officially finished 1,000 things. And it's funny because it's like I wish I could show them all at one time because it's a process and I'm ahead of the process now. But I'm going to the food bank and I have to get a couple things from Home Depot and I need some um, frozen blueberries and watermelon. So I'm going to run into Aldi's and see what they have. But I don't need much. So I'm going to do that. And I really do need to return, depending on if well, all these doesn't have watermelon, I'm going to run in my giant because I want to have that to eat this week. And I have everything else I need. I want to, um, yeah, so today after my appointment, I'm going to clean my kitchen, declutter my fridge. I got to prep some veggies and I want to make a sheet pan thing to eat off for a couple days. <coughs> and... Yeah, and just do general triage. No filming today for my 50 thing, my 25 things. But I just want to catch you up. So yesterday was I the finished in my garage. And, you know, it's very interesting. The last 
and I just at random chose things. Well, I had one kind of general area I just wanted to get done. That one, it was block, it was stuff I could fall over trying to get in and out of my garage, which is not good. And to pull my car up, I wanted to know that there's nothing there. But I pulled, there was two things I pulled. One was full of journals and notebooks, and that was a little bit hard. And the other one was dolls. This, the significance and um, synchronicity of me opening a container of dolls that my father had given me, Barbies from my childhood, was pretty amazing, truly. Um, it was very emotional and very symbolic, I feel. <laughs> That, you know, because it's all a process of pulling back layers and to getting, to getting, and a lot of, you know, I think I passed a lot of trauma. And, you know, if you think about energy holding you down, right, or lifting you up, or neutral, sometimes it's just neutral, you know, to have these old broken down dolls that are sort of ugly and trash now, basically trash. You know, and I have a couple dolls he's given me in my house. But, I mean, I carry these dolls, y'all, from... I mean, just like he... I was 17 when he died. I moved... I think I said 18, but I think I was almost 20 when we moved... My mom and I moved to Arizona. And I don't remember, like... I think we must have gone in the spring or summer. Because of beautiful weather. I think it was middle of summer we moved. But something else and I've taken these with me so many places and I like weird dolls I had a collection of those I let go uh, God knows Joe don't think anything well she knows I'm an artist and I collect weird things I wanted to do this whole thing on weird looking baby dolls but chances are I'm not going to do that uh, so yeah I don't can't explain it it's very cathartic very painful a lot of processing went on yesterday after it. But yeah, so I put in the trash. It's gone. These dolls that I've been toting around that my father, he was in the Air Force. Whenever he'd go somewhere, he'd bring me back a doll from that country. Like, there were two Russian dolls from when, like, he flew with Brezhnev during that. I don't know. That was 76, 77. <clears throat> something like that. And I had a Spanish doll. The one I have in my house is um, a Japanese geisha doll. And there's something else I can't think of it, but yeah. So I don't. It's just I feel kind of tired today, but I do think it's really important and it's really a good thing that I came across them. And uh, you know what I realized was too, I played the hell out of these dolls. Really, I played with them. I'm sure the geisha doll my mom put up, which is probably why it's still good. But I really played with them. And it's just, you know, you let go of things when they no longer serve you. And my dad is not the dolls. And the memories of my dad are not the dolls. And they're just clutter and trash that I'm, you know, cl was clinging to for some, you know. I understand all the reasons. But now it's time, right? Let it go. Um, I'm still going to work on my stuffed animals. I'm going to gather a bunch and wash them and, um. Oh man, these bikers are ahead of me and now they pull where I'm going. Down this little road, so we'll just let them have all the space they need. It's a really windy road too. So I think it's important and I think um, I'm just, it's just really tired today. And I got a lot done, you guys. I got a lot done. And today, you know, other than I want to do my kitchen and a couple things and bills and a few things I want to do. I've been playing. I've uploaded already today to YouTube. It's just taking long for some reason. I want to do some of that. But I want to read. I want to sit at my art table. I just want to chill. I did have a lovely bath um, yesterday. I needed it. <laughs> I, on many levels, I need it. It was very cathartic. But yeah, so this is, I'm going to Home Depot next, which, you know, not my favorite place, but I need to get a little metal container um, for a bird food. And uh, it let me go by, so that's nice, because I'm sure it's crap, not going to run over. 
so mice can't get into that and then um i can't think of one other thing oh i, I want to get a plant with this stand i have and i need a cilantro plant my other one died but it wasn't normal cilantro something else too but I've already looked it up and know what aisle everything is on so I'm not wandering around that crazy big huge cavernous store and yeah and then all these so I don't know if I'll take you with me inside or not but I will definitely be chatting today all your comments have been so nice and you know it's interesting we all have different ways of doing things and um yeah, but anyway, let me stop and pay attention to what I'm doing. got this plant um it was $7.99 it's a caladium I just think they're so beautiful I got this hot nozzle um which was $17.98 and I got this beautiful blue I'm gonna paint um that heart blue and then it's already blue but I'm gonna paint it that blue and then I got this um gloss thing Rustolium to spray on my mermaid. Okay, so this is one of the plants I got, a petunia called Bee's Knees, which I just think it's super pretty. So it is in this giant pot, and my uh, nozzle does not fit my hose. <laughs> so for $17.98, it's got to be returned. But I also got for $22 this thing that will house my bird seed so nobody can get into it. So, and this one I'm just going to water really well for tonight. I'm not sure I want to put it and then put it in the shade. So, Okay guys, so this thing is Celosia Dragon's Breath. I don't know if this pot is big enough, honestly. Um, that's in fertile, well-drained soil. Waters need to keep soil or evenly moist, especially in hot weather. Anyway, if I have to, I'll get a bigger pot and just take all of the whole pot and do it. But isn't that pretty? I like it. guys such a beautiful night it really is so here's my dinosaur got my bird bath filled my new plants planted and then this thing i don't know if i can save but this thing i probably won't get planted until um friday so I just want to have some water and apparently it needs shade. So I've tucked it here. Still got to figure out, I wanted to put it in this thing. So we'll see. And um, yeah, it's lovely out right now. Nice summer night. So let's see, see how bad my steps are. That's on the list in August, September to get these things repaired. Here we go. That's my new thing. And um, so these things are so pretty. This thing, I gotta save the middle thing. And that's my catnip. And 
beautiful thing. This is my new succulent. Okay. Guys, so yeah. This is not the best angle. I have my tripod. Yeah, just a little sitting out here enjoying the sunset. And um, let me change that so you can see that. So there you go. Isn't that pretty? It's very pleasant. Yeah. And if I sit over here in this chair that needs to be repaired, I can really just, all I see is a beautiful sunset. But yeah, it's been a long day. I'm tired. I'm going to eat a little dinner and then take a shower, play with my cat and get some sleep. And tomorrow is another day. All right, guys, I'll take you in the morning and show you what I'm going to prepare for staff day. Though I think it's going to be different. I don't really I have to leave earlier, so I think it's going to be like a charcuterie kind of thing. All right, guys, have a good night. Bye.